Hi, this is Frederick from the Techno Label Detroit Berlin. A couple of months ago I held a remix competition of the Eden Grey track called Battery Cake for Marcel and I will give feedback on those tracks. Please bear with me. I have my laptop set up, I have my sub pack on my headphones so I can do this listening session. I didn't hear these tracks yet, sorry for the waiting, but I wanted to yeah, do it on camera. So my yeah, initial thoughts are like yeah, my real initial thoughts and I hope you enjoy these mixes and yeah, I hope I enjoy them too. Let's get to this first track and it's an Andy de Bake remix. I will play it right now and yeah, give some feedback meanwhile. Normally I would like listen to, with the, the, the feedback service I offer, I would first listen to the full track, like in the background so that get familiar with it and then I do another listening session. Now I'm just yeah, doing it on the fly. The feedback service is actually more in depth but yeah I'll still try to give you as much information and of course kudos to the ones that uh, entered the competition and submitted their tracks. They put a lot of time in it so yeah give this video a thumbs up and let me know which remix you like best. So, first one, Battery Cake for Marcel and the De Bach remix. Just like it's right on, yeah. Maybe in this part, yeah, that was what I was looking for extra hi-hat. I'm a fan of the effect, but it's not well executed. 
so it might be fine-tuned, this, this pumping, fading effect. But this is really good. The kick coming in, it's a nice kick. And it works well with the sub-bass that really makes it bounce. Andy Tabaka, you made a really good track. You made a really good remix out of the original. You still hear the original elements, but yeah, the kick, the, the sounds, they're, yeah, very good. Now we have Jerry Verlinden, Eden Grey remix, Battery Cake for Marcel. So, yeah, just Let's right, hop right into it and yeah, give this a listen too. I'm very excited. Um, Gary has been following us for like a long time, so very excited to hear his take on the battery cake for Marcel. Be very yeah. experimental, I would say, with a notch to the original. Very nice reuse of the sounds. A whole other mood, not really the pounding techno, but still very nice. The kick is too far to the floor, that should be shifted. The rest is like, like pulling and, 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 and pushing, but the kick is like just going straight. Maybe I make it more like a not as steady as it's right now. Now it's just a four to the floor kick. Maybe shift it up a little. happening right now and it's, it doesn't have like a clear direction. The sounds themselves are nice and nice looks but it's like too crowded. Apart a little, give everything some more space, and this kick don't make it a four to the floor kick, but yeah, make it like a nice rhythm to the kick. Nice, 
nice effect. Nice move. Very nice move. Not the biggest fan, but there's definitely some very interesting stuff in here. I like some parts, but the kick is too far to the floor-ish. Um, and at specific moments, it's really a lot to process and it's shifting a little bit. So yeah, mm, not 100%, but I appreciate the effort. And actually, he did send, Jerry did send another remix. So yeah, he has been very busy with this contest. So we'll have a listen at the end. I will do it like an extra. But I want to thank Gary for sending his remix. And I would say up to the next one. Oh yeah, one thing I would like to mention about the Gary Verlinden remix. It starts with like a heavy, heavy pounding kick and everything very full and then really quickly uh, it gets a, a high pass and everything fades away a little bit. So that's a weird opening. I would probably turn that around and yeah, fade it in or have like a longer um, heavy pounding intro. I think that would work better. And then I have the Ahim remix. Hope I pronounce your name right. Was one of the last submissions that was sent to me. Um, yeah, I would say I'm very excited and very curious how it's going to sound. Let's jump into the battery cake for Marcel Ahim remix submission. beginning nice bass nice kick it builds a nice atmosphere a little bit more minimal but really dig it It's not overkill, the glitches. It's well chosen. Very simple, very effective. I like what happened. Only the, the, the few kick drums leave them out. That's that's not necessary. This is nice and I hope there's getting uh, another element added. Yeah. I think there is. Okay, good build up. It's 
adding something new and it keeps it fresh. That's really good. that more like leads up to the, the, the little drop. It's a little bit sudden but it works but yeah maybe a little a little bit like a build up. Not like the swooshing sound from the, the end scene but like a little rattling sound or something like that. But subtle. Very well made this one. Very minimalistic but yeah, I used to make minimal tech now a lot so I kind of like it. And these little rhythms in the It's not like just boom, 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 super straight. It's like, it has a nice groove. I really like this one. And now it could actually uh, just fade away, I think. I don't know what's the plan, but Yeah, that, that, that little kick at the end, just leave it out. It's this. I, I, I will. This. This. No, just leave that out. Otherwise, it's super nice. Let's first talk about this backpack. Um, I'm using the headphones, otherwise the sound will suck uh, because the loudspeakers, yeah, they will interfere. So using these headphones, but of course with headphones only, you don't have the, the feeling like you have in a club. And with this backpack, there are actually two like subwoofer elements in this backpack, like against my, my spine and uh, it's called bone conducting and it actually I don't feel it really on my back but more like on yeah my body like when you're in a club and the air gets moved from the subs and you're like yeah feeling feeling the bass that's the feeling you have with this backpack it's really great to just know how the kick uh, feels. A subwoofer is nice, you hear it, you feel it also when you yeah, turn the volume up. The neighbors probably won't like it, but yeah, you can do it and you will still feel it if it's a, a, a big system. But yeah, if you want to work like quite silently and still have like a really uh, live experience, yeah, and I would suggest yeah invest in such a sub pack, and it's not cheap, but it really it really gives you that that 
extra control over your music because if you're putting too much bass in it it will just like tremble all the time and you don't feel the kick anymore it's just like yeah it's muddy you can really take the mud out of a mix just by using this sub pack and a set of good headphones it will never yeah, be an alternative for a real monitor speaker system but it's really nice um, for a being like monitor speakers you're working on it and then you're just checking the mixes on the headphones with the sub pack just to see if it's really good uh, fitting together and you can even use the monitor speakers and the sub pack that's also possible so yeah let's move on to the extra Gerry Verlinde made another remix and kudos for Gerry uh, he's supporting the channel a lot and yeah he sends us two remixes I'll just do a quick feedback session for the, the second remix he sent us so yeah let's just jump right into it and see what else he made besides of his first remix so this is the second one his first kick was was too four to the floor this is more what i'm talking about like this a little bit of this in his previous uh, remix and it would be a lot better. The cricket sound, the, the, the distorted sound is too high in the mix. I would turn that a little bit down. Have this percussion loop, add a few yeah, um, elements in it like this, take it out of the repetition like every end of eight bars, like do a little yeah, coloring to it, change it up a little bit. The atmosphere, but that's that's nice. Everything is just building and adding loops. They're very repetitive, these loops, nice loops, but if you build all these loops, just go back and add some, yeah, some changements in there that they're not that, yeah, repetitive. Only at particular places, only at the end of eight or 16 bars just add these little fragments that make it feel fresh every time your brain needs it to snap out of the the loop Different, but I really, yeah, 
The loops are really good. And the atmosphere is better than uh, the, the first remix. Yeah. The first Gary Berlinen remix, that is. I dig this more. Just, yeah. Add a little of these yeah, colorings to the to the percussion here and there, just like a little yeah, little fragment that it snaps out of this like real repetitiveness. The mixing could be better. Um, what's a lot better is the. It's still complex and there's still a lot happening, but it's more, yeah, manageable. The first remix uh, from Gary Verlinda was a little bit too much and too like uh, all over the place. This is way more, yeah, structured and well placed. So. Yeah, really like this remix. The mixing could be a little bit better. Um, also the bass, it can be like more, still more punchy. And I think the bass is a little bit, yeah, not really flat, but yeah, it, it falls more to the background. Um, it, it could be more, yeah, pronounced. Um, I would say some mastering and yeah, I think every track needs a little bit of mastering, some a little bit more, but yeah, I would say overall I'm very impressed with all the submissions. Um, yeah, I can only say like thank you a thousand times. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with all these remixes. If the makers of these remixes are okay with it, I maybe can make it like a a bonus on that EP from Eden Gray. If you have any more questions, please feel free to yeah, ask them in the comment section down below. Yeah, I would say if you have any requests for particular videos, just yeah, put them in the comment section down below and I will try to uh, make it happen. If you're not already subscribed to the channel, please do so. Give this video a thumbs up and yeah, don't forget to hit the bell button if you want to be notified when upcoming episodes get published. I would really like to thank you for watching and to thank Andy, Gerry and Achim for sending these wonderful remixes. I hope to yeah, see more of you in the future. Thanks for watching.